compressors are used for all sorts of processes in industry. One example is the compression of natural gas that is piped to our homes, like the jet engine compressors at Dawn in Southwest Ontario. A hydraulic air compressor, or HAC, is a different type of compressor because it pressurizes air using water. Since gas always heats up as it is compressed, the big advantage of an HAC is that the water simultaneously cools the air as it compresses it. This means that less input energy is needed to drive an HAC than any other type of compressor, therefore making it cheaper to run. In fact, our team has shown that an HAC is the most energy efficient compressor possible. It also delivers dry air and cool air as an integrated part of its operation without needing the bolt-on equipment that a jet engine compressor needs to produce the same quality of air. HACs can also be directly integrated with gas storage systems by separating the input and output ducts and increasing the size of the connecting duct. We are improving on the HACs that operated over a hundred years ago. The classic Ragged Shoots HAC use the renewable hydropower of the Montreal River to compress air. This installation, as deep as a 30-story building is tall, was made up of a so-called downcomer shaft, a collection chamber developed in the rock, and another shaft called the riser. There was enough compressed air in the ragged chutes chamber to supply about 30 mines in the cobalt region. It operated for nearly 70 years with only two stops for maintenance in all that time. Historically, there were 18 known HAC installations across the globe. So you might be wondering, why aren't there any HACs in operation now? First, it's a matter of chemistry. At a fixed pressure, different gases have different solubility in water. But for all gases, their solubility increases with increasing pressure. The dissolved gases bypass the collecting chamber and flow up the riser, which means that some of the compressed air is lost. Also, because more oxygen gas dissolves in water than nitrogen gas, this made it unpopular with miners. They could tell the air was compressed by an HAC because their candles burned less brightly and a lot longer. Secondly, it's a matter of marketing. When hydropower resources were being developed a hundred years ago. Electric power was much easier to sell down a wire than pneumatic power was down a pipe. So the electric power option won out. These days, gases can be piped thousands of kilometers and miners get plenty of oxygen from mine ventilation systems. Plus, in our modern day HAC, we are fixing the solubility issue by pre-dissolving a salt in the water so that there is no room left for the gases to dissolve. To prove this, the HAC team is designing and building a large-scale demonstrator at Dynamic Earth in Sudbury, Ontario. That's right, the demonstrator will be installed less than 100 meters away from Sudbury's famous Big Nickel, half underground and half above ground. The demonstrator will work in a similar way to historical HACs, but won't need a river. Instead, the water will recirculate by pumping it from the riser tank to the forebay tank. For the mining industry, who are the major sponsors of the project, not only will it get cheap pneumatic power and air storage, the HAC will be the heart of a new cooling system. It's a new kind of mine ventilation fan, with benefits. And because HACs work with other gases too, their benefits can be extended to other sectors of the economy such as natural gas distribution, refrigerators, liquefiers, and carbon capture systems.